Howdy ho guys and gals, we're back and today we got another ODB2 reader. We got the launch. This is a new CRP123X. Gotta make sure I got the name right. I'm sorry, Elite for 2023. Let's get hands on with it, show you what it is, then we'll come back and I'll show you some more about the details on it. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's have some fun with this. I'm going to run it have it right over the top here. Boom, boom. And right down there. There we go. Oh, we got plenty. What's your VIN number? That's weird. Wild. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to prop that up right there. Ta -da -da, year 2014 Ram 3500. Now start the, the vehicle system detection. Okay. Powertrain module, abnormal. Charge air cooler efficiency below threshold. That is a warning that I know I get because of my front bumper. Of course, and I can clear codes. All right, there you go. Well, they're comparing it versus the Foxwell. Now, they're uh, 2023 versus 2022. There's a bunch out there on the market. Let's just focus on what it brings to the table. Five inch size, it's running on 7.0 Android. You could probably mod it to run Doom if you wanted. It's got a 6,100 milliamp hour uh, battery in it. Memory is two gigs plus 16 gigs of ROM. Uh, that means it's basically got two gigs of RAM. You can store stuff on 16 gigs is what's integrated into the, the chip inside of it. Uh, it's got update through Wi-Fi. It does. Uh, touch screen. Yep, it's got that. Language is 10 plus. Okay. System diagnosis, ABS, SRS, engine transmission, code search, online feedback, voltage, uh, battery voltage test. You probably saw that when you're in the truck. There are three reset services on oil, SAS, and throttle adapter. Then we've got four system diagnostics. And this is engine transmission, SRS, and chassis system. And as I said, a whole bunch of, you know, it supports thousands of cars and, and whatnot. It's got the latest chip technology, as they like to say. Fact of the matter is, it, it, it is probably one of the better than average uh, you know, uh, DIY, uh, let's call it uh, prosumer grade kind of uh, code readers there. It, it feels really good in the hand. It has the, 
the damage resistant case. It comes in a fabric case that zips up, keeps everything on it. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about the design is the uh, the charger. The charger is a USB to barrel plug, which seems odd. Um, I'm guessing you can get them replaced or something like that if you lose them, because that's the one thing I would be worried about. But honestly, it's $178. There's a $10 off coupon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reach out to them and see if I can get a, a, a discount code. If I do, link will be down below with the discount code. Check it out if you're interested in this. Actually, they uh, I've had a couple of these. They just sent me one. I already had one. And I gave that one to my son, and that's the one, you know, he's in automotive school and stuff, and he's doing all that kind of fun stuff. So he needed a, an update on his reader because, I mean, it, I think it's good enough for the for the average person. They, not a not professional mechanic, but for the average person, this is a great code reader, honestly. Anyway, check it out in the links below. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.